if you play Elite Dangerous and don't know what to put on your Christmas wish list, or if someone in your family is playing Elite Dangerous and you don't know what to give them for Christmas, then this video is definitely for you. Because today I'm going to give some recommendations and some ideas for what you can give to a Elite Commander. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a rather different video. With Christmas rapidly approaching, I thought it could be fun to do some uh, ideas or recommendations for what you can either wish for if you play Elite yourself or if someone in your family does, what you can give them. I'm gonna try to go for a variety of price ranges, variety of like types of different things and I just want to clarify at the beginning, this is not a sponsored video by any means, and if I have any affiliation with any of the products that I recommend, I will make it very, very clear at those points in the video. So just in case we have some family members out there watching, I just want to get everybody up to speed. First of all, you need to figure out what platform the person you're giving to is playing on. Elite Dangerous is available on three different platforms, PC, Xbox, or PlayStation. So you need to figure out which of the, those three um, the game is being played on because it can affect some of the recommendations I'm going to make. Now the first recommendation here will work regardless of platform and it's something I think everybody playing Elite will be needing pretty soon. You see the developers of Elite Dangerous Frontier, they are launching a new big update at the beginning of next year called Odyssey. And I would assume pretty much everybody playing Elite will be interested in getting this update. It is a paid update so you have to go out and buy it once it's released. Unfortunately, it won't be out in time for Christmas. So therefore, if that is something you want, you're looking into, you will have to go out and get a gift card or wish for a gift card. And then of course, depending on what platform you're playing on, you will have to make sure that a gift card is valid on that platform. In terms of price, we don't have any prices from the developers yet exactly how much this is going to cost. But my guess is it's gonna be in the $45, $50 area. That is my guess at least. If we look back at how much uh, the previous update costs, I think that was 45 for pre-order. So I don't know how much exactly it's going to be, but my guess is if it follows the last update, it's probably going to be a sound around the same area. Elite Dangerous is a type of game where there is a lot of equipment, a lot of gear that you can upgrade to make your gaming experience better. The most common one is to buy what's called a HOTAS, which is the hand-on throttle and stick. It's a joystick and a throttle that you can use to fly your spaceships. These comes in all shapes and sizes and all price categories. Some works for consoles, some works for PC, some works for multiple of them. It's really difficult for me to put prices on these because supply is very low at the moment. Some of them can be outright impossible to get your hands on at the moment. And therefore prices also vary a lot depending on where in the world you are. I could look up prices in the US, but they may not be applicable if you're living in the EU or somewhere else in the world. So look up your local prices on the, these different ones, but I will go through them in what I would expect to be a sending price order. One of the cheapest I think you can get that I would recommend that I see some a lot of people use is the Thrustmaster T Flight. This one comes both in a version for Xbox, for PlayStation, and you can also get it for PC. It's a very popular HOTAS, and it also comes in at a relatively uh, cheap price. There's also one called the Hori Ace Combat 7. This is also a uh, HOTAS system that works specifically for Xbox. Another very popular choice when it comes to HOTAS is the Thrustmaster T1600M. I think this is a pretty good like value for money joystick. You get a lot of joysticks um, for the price and it's, it's, a, it's a popular choice and this one works only for PC. Logitech also has a few offerings. Um, they have a newer one called the X56. I'm not a big fan of it myself, uh, so I won't recommend that. If you're looking into a um, Logitech joystick, I recommend the X52 or the X52 Pro. I've played with the X52 Pro myself. That was the first joystick that I played with and I've been very happy with it until I, uh, I eventually decided to upgrade it because it was slowly being worn down after many, many, many hours of use. I should say that sometimes these joysticks are listed under the name SciTech instead of Logitech. And that's because the joystick was originally developed by a company called SciTech that was then later bought by Logitech and then rebranded under the Logitech um, name. These joysticks are, again, only for PC. If you want to move up to some of the more expensive joysticks, um, a popular choice is the Thrustmaster Warthog. This is not a joystick designed for space sims specifically. It is designed to fly aircrafts. 
I see a lot of people use it and it is a high quality product, um, but it also comes with a price to match. Now you can go one step up further to go full on like really, really specialized gear. There's a company called Verpal that I use their product myself. They make really, really good joysticks and it's pretty much some of the best you can get on the market. But the price tag is very, very steep. These products can easily set you back hundreds and hundreds of uh, dollars just for a single joystick then you also need the base for the joystick and you will need a throttle and they also all comes in at two three hundred dollars so this is a very very expensive solution but you get the benefit that they have designed their products or some of their products if you get for instance the constellation alpha joystick is designed for space sim so you get a high quality product that is specifically designed to a game like elite but again the price tag is also very very steep but a sticking throttle is not the only input devices that people can use to control their ship. The popular choice is also to have pedals on the desk that you can steer with your feet, just like you would have in an aircraft. This is not for everybody. I personally don't really like to use pedals, um, but I know a lot of people does. So I wanted to put it in here with a few recommendations. Now, I've never used any of these myself, but looking around, it seems to be some solid options. There is one called the Thrustmaster T. FRP rudder. This seems to work both for Xbox, PC and, and PlayStation. So this works regardless of platform. Logitech also has an, uh, an offering calling the Pro Flight rudder pedals. And again, this is also sometimes labeled under the SciTech brand instead of the Logitech brand. So they're pretty much the same device. While this one is a little bit more expensive, this is kind of the mid-range pedals, also a really good choice if you want to have like um, some price to performance or get a lot of, of pedals for the price, then um, going with one of the Logitech ones, I think is a good choice there. And finally, again, if you want to go like full on high-end specialized gear, Verpal still has offerings for pedals as well. As with all of these things, if you go down to the description, you can look at the names. I've listed all the different products down there so you can copy and paste the names into whatever local uh, stores you have, uh, depending on where you live in the world. Now, Elite Dangerous has support for VR or virtual reality and head tracking. So here you have quite a few options as well. If you're playing on PlayStation, of course, you have the Sony PlayStation VR headset. Now, Oculus, or well, aka Facebook, also has some, uh, some VR offerings, and they have the Oculus Quest 2, which works only for PC, as far as I am aware. And if you really want to spend a lot of money on a headset, there are some really expensive options. I think one of the more popular ones is the HP Reverb G2, but there are also some really, really expensive ones. But I don't have a whole lot of experience with the expensive side of, um, of VR, so it's hard for me to do recommendations uh, here. But just know there are others than the one I have listed here. Um, but at least the Reverb is the one that I've heard is supposedly to be pretty good. But it doesn't necessarily have to be a virtual reality headset. There is also options to do head tracking. So having a device that somehow tracks your head movements and relate that to camera movements in the game. You can either get what's called a Toby eye tracker. This is like a bar you put on top of your screen and it then tracks your eye movements. And as you look at different parts of the screen, the game will then move your camera in that position. I believe they can also do head tracking. So as you turn your head, it will then move the camera um, accordingly in the game. Alternatively, you can also have the uh, Track IR. This is an infrared solution where you clip a like uh, a like a C-shaped thing on the side of your headset that has small infrared LEDs, and then you get a specialized infrared camera to put on top of your monitor, and it then tracks these infrared LEDs and translate that into head movements that are again reflected in the game. The Track IR is slightly cheaper than the Toby Eye Tracker. I believe I found the Toby Eye Tracker on their own homepage for 229 euros, where the Track IR was listed at $170. So it's a little bit cheaper to buy the, uh, the Track IR than it is to buy the Toby Eye Tracker. But we have those options. And again, same with headsets. I um, haven't listed prices here because they vary a lot depending on where you are in the world. Now, if you're into streaming or creating YouTube videos, I think one of the biggest upgrades you can do is to get a proper sounding microphone. If you're currently just using like a small like boom mic on your headset, it's gonna sound like you're talking through a tin can. So upgrading the microphone can make a huge boost to both live streams and YouTube videos. 
Here I can recommend the Blue Microphone Snowball. It's around $50, so it's a pretty cheap microphone. And it is a little bulky, so it takes up quite a bit of space on the desk in front of you. But what you can do is you can buy a Rode PSA-1 uh, microphone arm that you can clamp to the end of the desk and then have the microphone either on top of you. I got one of those arms when I started out doing YouTube about five years ago or something like that. And it's still the arm I use to this day. It's a wonderful product and it's relatively inexpensive as well. If you want to upgrade to a slightly better microphone, Blue Microphone again has a really good offering with the Blue Microphone Yeti. This is more expensive at around $130, I think. It is a more expensive microphone, but it also a better sounding microphone. And while of course there are lots and lots of other options to get really good microphones in pretty much all price ranges, these are just some of the ones that I know are that they're very popular and you get a lot of microphone for the price. Another cool piece of gear when it comes to live streaming and video creation, and pretty much also if you just play Elite normally, is to get a stream deck. It's a small box you put on your desk and it has a small lot of small buttons where you can put your own little images on that you control from your computer and you can then use that to either control your live stream or you can alternatively use it to actually control things inside Elite. So even if you're not live streaming or if you're not making YouTube videos, getting a stream deck is still a good option if you want to have some additional key presses. If you already have a whole test, you don't feel like upgrading it, but you want to have more buttons and you don't want to use your keyboard for any of the buttons at all, get a stream deck, put it on your desk in front of you. It doesn't take up a lot of space and you can customize all the keys on it. It's a really cool device. They come in three sizes from the um, stream deck mini at $100 up to the normal mid-size stream deck at $150 and also has a stream deck XL which is an absolutely massive device <laughs> that uh, that comes up at $250. Now when it comes to getting additional key inputs into Elite Dangerous there is also some software solutions in the form of Game Glass. Here I should say that Game Glass has been a long time supporter and sponsor on the channel and I have an affiliate link with them, so I do have an affiliation with this company. What Game Glass allows you to do is to install an app on your tablet, and then you can control your ship from that tablet. I myself have a tablet right up here next to the camera where I can like lower my landing gear, turn on my ship lights, or open and close different maps and all those kind of like normal key bindings you would use in Lead. Have that up here, just have additional information displayed up there on, uh, uh, on a tablet. Now, there are different options with Game Glass where you can either buy access to different panels individually relatively cheaply or you can get a subscription that's around, I think, $43 a year. That gives you access to everything, both existing and everything new coming out. And my next recommendation here is something I feel like a lot of people overlook. I mean, a lot of people will spend a lot of money on their equipment for playing computer games. Expensive keyboards, big, big monitors, expensive gaming PC, all that stuff. But they forget the thing that they touch the most, the chair. I've seen this so many times where people have these huge, amazing setups and then they have like a cheap chair from whatever that is almost falling apart. I don't know. I spend a lot of time in front of my, my computer, especially now with working at home, working remotely. So having a good chair that gives you proper support just means you're not going to get a, a backache or anything like that. So I think buying a proper chair, especially if you spend many hours in front of the computer, should pretty much just be a, a must. Not only are you going to be having a more comfortable uh, playing session, but you also may avoid getting a, a backache depending on what you're using at the moment. Here again, I should say that the one I'm using is from a company called Secret Lab. I have an affiliate link with those, I have, so I have an affiliation with that company, but there are other options. For instance, there's a company called DX Racer that also makes chairs, but you don't necessarily have to go out and buy these named brands. What you can just go do is go down to your local whatever store where you buy uh, office chairs and buy a proper uh, good ergonomic office chair that gives proper support uh, where it's needed. And again, this can vary a lot in price depending on the size of the chair you want and how many different like features you want on the chair, what it should do and what it shouldn't be able to do. And the final thing is I want to plug my own merchandise. I recently opened a brand new merch store and if you've been watching the channel for a while and you want to both support the channel or maybe also show that you like the videos I do to others, then merchandise is a great option. You can check that out at store.d2a.com. 
and of course there are links for that in the description together with the list of pretty much every product i've been talking about today i won't necessarily have links because it is dependent on where you live in the world um but i will have links to some of the sites some of the more specialized sites like verbal game glass track IR, and the toby eye tracker where they have where the manufacturer themselves have a store where you can go ahead and buy it i will have those linked in the description below if you didn't find anything in this video that you necessarily found was just what you were looking for then go down to the comment section maybe someone else down there has a really good idea thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video give a like subscribe to the channel have a merry christmas and also next time i will see you guys in space